units, level four mobilization. Location, Fisk Tower. Fisk? Bring in the hammer. What's happening? Yuri? Yuri! Get more backup. And lock down the airspace. Yuri, you okay? If he makes it out of that building, we're gonna lose him. I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Yes. He's the deck, Willie. Pick up. Heads up. Hey, where are you going? Get. I'll clear a path. Follow me. Get out of here, Spider-Man. Sorry to break it to you, but you do not got this, buddy. Confidence boost, guys. You got the hump. Come on, come on. They shut the elevators down. Take the stairs. I prefer a more direct approach. Spider-Man, status. Heading to the upper floors, and hoping nobody turns on the elevators. Our choppers are taking fire. Looks like Fisk has armed men on every floor. He's desperate. And he's hitting us with everything he's got. I have to find him and end this. Not yet. We just picked up Chatter. They're wiping all their data servers. We need that evidence if we want to put him away for good. Okay, server room it is. Is this tech support? I forgot my password. Spider-Man! Don't let him near the console! Keep him on the ground! Hold him back! Boy, I thought the IT guys in my last job were rude. Gotta access that console before everything's gone. Let's see just how good their security is. Aw, oh, you guys forgot the latest kernel patch. Hiding so cowardly even for you. Says the guy frantically erasing his search history. After all these years, you are still just an ignorant child. True, but that's part of my charm, isn't it? Damn you. Get that door down now! Get past him. Look around you. I did this. What have you ever done with that? Well, there was that time I took down a pompous, overstuffed crime lord before breakfast. Without me, the scum I kept in check will run rampant, and it'll be your fault. A long, tough road, Fisk. 
Almost sad to see it end. Mere praise. We'll get ready for the main of Yuri. An explosion just... I saw it. This could have the whole place wired. I'm sending in a bomb unit. I'll make sure no one gets in their way. I think that's all of them. It's clear. Move up. Hey, guys. I guess bombs are part of Willie's getaway plan? Sounds like they're trapped. You go after them. We'll look for the bombs. Everyone clear out! Evacuate the building! I heard more people back that way. I'll find them. Spider-Man! We can't move! We're pinned down! I'll lift it. When you're free, get out fast. If you can walk, help the injured. Got it? Go, go, go! Thank you. Get him! Settle down. I've got enough for everybody. Okay, room is clear. Bomb squad must be somewhere ahead. Hope they're okay. You guys all right? We were just about to call for backup. I think I'm it. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss. Out of my head. Hey, Yuri. Looks like some of your guys were on Fisk's payroll. Good news is, they were Willie's last line of defense. I'm right outside his office. Take him down. Now. With pleasure. Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Get the chopper ready. I won't be long. I'm surprised you made it this far. But your foolishness ends now. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? Eight years of this insolence. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Reloading. What's wrong, Willie? You seem angry. I will destroy you! Take your best shot! That gave me an opening. gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man.
Finally off to Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Whoop! Gotta go! Hey, good luck, Willy. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiot! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month you wish you had me back! I'm sorry I'm late. started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on! Dr. Octavius, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Until an hour ago. The whole system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. We'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. 
Let's take a look at this tower. The input bands have been shifted. Subtle. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Don't bother. Spider cops on it. Part man, part spider, all cop. Ugh. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. Get away from her! You're done, freak! <laughs> Walk away now, or she's dead! Let me go! All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. Haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's spider man. <laughs> Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Parker! Dr. Octavius, I, uh, what you got there? Chinese. If I know you'd be here, I would've... What are you working on? Oh, just a side project. <sighs> of course. It's you. I, uh, I, I don't know what oh, you're... Oh, come on, Parker, it's obvious. Let, let me explain. I only wish you'd told me sooner. I wanted to. I was afraid that if word got out, my family might be in danger. Huh. Yes. Uh, I guess if you design his equipment, you're bound to be a target too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Well, I'll leave you to it. Check your email. Peter, the revelation of your second job as Spider-Man suit crafter, is that the right term? <clears throat> is a reminder of the good man and partner you are. No matter how hard you work, you still find time to help others. I hope you don't mind, but I noticed the suit was a bit damaged, and I took the liberty of sketching up some of my own improvements. Attached are a few ideas I had on how you could enhance his suit and help protect Spider-Man, who does so much for this city. Looking forward to the incredible work that we are doing and changing the world together. Your partner and friend, Otto. White Spider, huh? Hmm. Coming through! Looking good, Spidey! Hey! 
same old me. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party, whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. Hey, Martin. So sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Um. Peter. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on. You can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's to many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick him off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. They always look so cozy whipped up like that. Where's Finn? Someone else is here. I swear. She must have the file. If they're here, where are they? I don't know. Say they're not. You literally didn't see that coming. Hey, what is that? belongs to don't move buddy if I had a nickel for every don't move hey Pete MJ what are you doing here same as you working at least I was oh I uh, think this is yours yeah thanks so, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh huh? Let me explain.
Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry, it just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddle ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. Got it. Craig... I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you think we had to reschedule? Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? That's the Neo behind them, but it looks different.
Hmm. He's holding something. Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Maybe I should turn the head. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. That's it. Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's... Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in, in, in there. Fa Wen Jin Zao Su Lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Yes, all right, of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Work out. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. She cleared out that other room. Uh, you know, hold them for transport. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. 
You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? Like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad to mix these fries. Totally. Best in city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, we be masked, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh... Like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. I love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't want to hurt you. You'll just slow me down. Wow. That's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done. Oh. Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done. Oh. Okay. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Move, move, move! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? 
I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I could patch these shoes. Yep. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb with? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much? Oops. Now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, don't kill me. Coming your way. If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Anymore. 
You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! Stand still! If you ask nicely, maybe! You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not likely to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything under those masks! Wait, did you say masks? This one's gonna hurt! These mask guys! What do they want the money for? Don't know! Don't care! Good as that finish the job, I'm gone! Give up before you really get hurt! yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden Sorry, no okay yuri shocker's all yours now good work we have a special cell waiting for him at the raft we'll make sure he stays behind bars this time also i'm pretty sure he was working for the demon gang Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. 
They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter. There's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Hey, so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. If they set one toe inside the vault, I'll have your head. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Been through a dozen different owners before him. Don't run over the 80. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Anyone can sleep it off. Boss may be in lockup, but that don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. <laughs> Com check, Eagle Two, you up? Eagle Two reporting in. Eyes on. Who's there? Nap time. <laughs> What's that? You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Web for the win. A gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. Started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. I got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those.
Hey, Dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see, anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <sighs> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. Found one. Nailed it. Hell yeah, you did. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. I'm blocked. Anything you can do? What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. Place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault. Hurry. Go. Go. Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. They blew the locks to get in. Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Find cover! That's what I'm talking about! Now you're just showing off! I'm a little impressed! Keep watching. Gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the web. This keeps up. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Here's your stuff. 
Hey guys, room for one more? Now the three decides to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Oh, Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after... Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? I just got a tip that the demons are moving on the Fisk construction site in Midtown. Life would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and rob, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just 
Picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Consolidated shipping. Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Nap time. Sleep it off. You got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. <clears throat> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. <laughs> Hey, Willie. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Here, wait for the police. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic Fisk talks. Just happen? Yeah. 
I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. to Newark? Don't screw this up. These masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, it's Solomon. Cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Uh, yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. Oh, crap, I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right, tell your pops I said congrats. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. 
So? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? Um, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Over there.
damn it! Hurry! Think. Flipping! Right there. Can't cross yet. Okay. I was right there. Gotta help him. I got you, Dad. No. Enough. We have to leave. Now.
I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked to the detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. I've gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Sleep it off. must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. And lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. 
I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly. But also with style. I literally didn't see that coming. Not out here. Better check inside. What else can I find around here? Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Nice. Uh, Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rise. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. This is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. 
Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. They said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. <sighs> that room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Looks like this note is for May. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this. Or May. I don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here?
Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Dinner. Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, 
Hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? What's in these? Boss, come on! We will never know this! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. <gasps> won't notice? <gasps> Cause it won't be there! They break. Such a disappointment. For Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. 
It smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? But, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Police look like they could use some help. Okay, but you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I could have sworn I parked on this level. here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Fight! A for effort! Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Enter your password. Nikuda. Do we 
He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Lights out. <laughs> Good one, Pete. Sweet dreams. Sleep it off. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Almost got him! Try to fall slower! <laughs> You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Who are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you.
That's all of them. You'll be okay later. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. There's the second module. What? All agents, someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Attention all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy control. Bird inbound. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. There's the last one. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. Son of a bitch! You're lying! 
Oh, don't be too mad, Norman. We know you and Fisk built a secret Devil's Breath lab, but we still don't know where it is and what Michaels has to do with it. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. GR-27? Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Hey, Pete. <laughs> MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. I gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. Out of the way, fella. <laughs> Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. important safe houses if dr michaels is in one of these standish might know which one Copy. Making a st they're standish's tent can't believe michaels just carries devil's breath around with him osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it again what's up with these lights Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? He told him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. 
She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What that the was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Heard Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. And the best you got is sorry, Charlie. Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. The signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. Got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter.
I'd call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. <laughs> Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... It can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Ah, uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. I showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. If we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. What are you doing here? Whoa, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? You hurt? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros, okay? Okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's... It's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jaw, okay? okay? I can help. <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry. No, 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 <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up and, uh... You'll be fine. All right. 
Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know, anytime. Just punch Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief's shelter okay? Uh, yeah, almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay, sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. I love you so much. We'll get through this, okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. I've seen enough of dead demon faces. You know what? Just, just keep breathing. Right. I'll be back soon, Mr. Punch. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no. I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um... What can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <laughs> oh, hell! Damn hunk of junk! Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these when they're... CR... What? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got time. Get it. Go it. Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. <laughs> hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's going to be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. See if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381, package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that?
Welcome aboard, Doctor. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. Four units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank, whatever. Coming, and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! Lee, hand it over! I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! <sighs> one way or the other, you will join me. Oh. the souls you've lost, the innocent victims you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands. You can stop Osborne. You have so much strength. I can give you will. Ugh. <sighs> 
What's one life? A single train. One life for a city of souls. You okay? Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. To destroy you. So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. You really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Devil's breath is gone. I should call MJ and Warner. This is Mary Jane Watson. Please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What are you up to now, MJ? Standard said the demons are looking for something at GCT. But what could they possibly need here? Should probably call Peter and let him know what I'm doing. Actually, scratch that. He'd probably just tell me to go home and chain myself to my laptop. I'll just check things out quick and let him know what I find. Oscorp's research and development team are hard at work on a radical new form of battery that recharges itself from sound waves. In a few short months, you will be able to buy a phone that will never have to be plugged in. Hmm. Cool. Please make certain that children are supervised at all times. Oscorp's Revolutionary Medical Evacuation Drone, or MED, offers immediate emergency assistance, even in the most hostile areas of the world.
just a few years ago, optical camouflage was the stuff of science fiction films. But with our sports patented magnetic resonance arrays, cloaking feels are very much a reality. Try it for yourself and see how oh, Oscorp is making your world goes. better each and every day. How do I look? <laughs> Incredible. Cool. This is the future. Crazy. This Gaia microbe dispersal device releases specially formulated microbes into the atmosphere and in turn leaves our oceans and rivers cleaner than when man first walked. Mr. Lee. This will be easier for everyone if you remain calm and do as I say. Police! Over here! No! Office. I would like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. By yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands. Sort of makes sense, in a twisted, psychotic way. Okay, I'm here. Coming into the terminal now. Anything I should be on the lookout for? Looks like he's got some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. Don't worry, I'm in the ventilation system. Can you see a safe exit point? Please, don't hurt us. Southwest corner. On my way. Closer, the drones will spot me. I don't want to know. see that tablet I'm looking at. That controls the drones. Think you can snag it? Yes, if you can distract them and not get shot. Incoming. You want to kill me? Listen, I'm a reporter. I have a direct line to Mayor Osborne. I can help make sure he arrives on time. How? First, let him go. Can't let him see me. 
cover. You still got that tablet? Yeah. Better work fast. Okay, I got this. Come on, come on. Almost there. They did it. Good job. Now let's get you out of here. What about the devil's breath? I'll come back for it. No, we're partners, remember? Can we argue later? If we don't help those people, they could die. So could you. I can't let that happen. No. No, I got myself into this. I'm getting myself out. What do you mean you got yourself into this? I don't like this. There's too many of them. Then let's start taking them out. Quietly. They can still see each other. That did it. Grab him. Do it. trust each other, Peter. What do you mean, I trust you? Yeah, when I'm sitting at home behind a laptop. Oh, come on. Can we please get back to saving the city here? Start the timer. Keep him busy. I'll take care of the devil's breath. You know what you're doing? No. That's never stopped me before. Yeah. Okay, what do you see? I see four wires. Two blue ones, one yellow and one red. Look for the source of the wires. They should be color-coded according to function. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery, and yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay, you'll want to detach the wires from the battery first. Trace the wires to the other end and unplug them from there. Okay, unplug the wires from the battery. Disconnect the battery wires. <sighs> what a mess. Okay, pull the first wire. Now the second one. The other battery wire. What? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. Ah, it's a collapsing circuit. What comes next? The fan? Yes, then the last wire. But you have to hurry. Okay, now the red one. Got it. You did it. Wow. Yeah. Now let's get these people out of here. I could use a little spidey help. You ready? Right. I'll clear a path. Try to do it quietly. Will do. MJ, time to go. Copy that. Everyone, follow me! Here comes Andrew. 
Anyone who's on the wrong side of MJ. Wonder what side I'm on right now. Okay, guys, trivia time. Did you know Grand Central has the largest basement in New York City? Crazy, right? You could fit half the Brooklyn Bridge down there. Sure don't make them like they used to. That's old school New York gumption for you. Anyway, I could talk trivia all day, but I gotta stop your wingnut of a boss from destroying the city. Time to wrap this up. Lee's escape plan is to use the train. Can't let him get away. Train platform is open. That must be where Lee is. Lee's getting away. Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. No brakes? No problem. Uh, that totally worked last time. Yuri, are they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Street's closed for another month. Why? <laughs> Next stop, prison. Watson, please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, hey, it's me. Let me know when you want to talk. Texting isn't talking?
No, 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 not that kind of over. Please say no, please say no. Huh. Okay, okay. And not okay. What is there to figure out? Oh, you think? Off to the raft. The devil's breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroics for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. I kind of needed that. Hello? Parker! <laughs> just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? Wait. Where are the arms? Oh, wow. So cool. But how did you... Intracranial neural network. Neurotransmission speeds under one nanosecond. Faster than signals travel inside the brain. Never mind to an external prosthesis. We did it, Peter. No one can take this away from us. Amazing. I... And your work on the neural web was the key. But we haven't even tested it yet. There's so much we don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. This is impressive. Hmm, little error, though. Bad. Doctor? Doctor, I found a potential problem. Everything has problems, people at But fortune favors the bull. It's time to show the world what we've done. Otto, the neural web isn't isolating your motor neurons. It could be affecting other parts of your brain, your, your inhibitions, your mood. I, I just think we need some more We've testing. We've got enough testing! For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like me. Otto, you're not a failure. But this could permanently damage your mind. Please. Right. Close. I'll keep at it. I'll work out some bugs. Go. Go. You sure you're okay? Yes. Thank you, Peter. For... For everything. now behind bars. When I make a promise to this city, I keep it. The people of New York will soon make a decision that can change the course of this city forever. So when you're casting your vote, remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! You have no idea what you're in for. Peter, 
You okay? I'm getting by. I don't know how I feel about you running this place all by yourself. And these people need help. If I lose a few hours of sleep, so be it. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since? No. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. So, how are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh... Well, you know, she's, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's complicated. Honesty. That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure. Especially when we were your age. So, are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. Oh, it never ends. Peter? The devil's breath is gone, but we got even bigger problems. Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Uh-oh. You should have worn your seatbelt. I'm on it.
Okay, looks like things are somewhat under control. I thought you said the raft was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! Uh, Yuri! Uh, I'm slipping! Gotcha. Hold on! Uh, uh. You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fire! Looks like we made parole, boys! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cell and lock the door behind you, okay? Please? Can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. Tracking Electro. Whoa! Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase.
How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. <laughs> You don't want to. We definitely want to. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! Lies. It's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. Can you pass us out for me? Sure. But they are working around the clock on a cure for this deadly disease. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp Turn is not the NDC on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim.
Dr. Octavius, why? How did I let this happen? I just got a call from the hospital. They said you went AWOL. I need to get back to work. The doctor said you still have 14 broken bones. Which means I have 192 non-broken ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sables. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. What is happening to our city, Yuri? Rhino's assaulting the Upper West Precinct. Electro's at the Upper East. We need you to turn the tide. Head to either. They're both equally screwed. Peter, are you available? We need help at Feast Sisters Night of Town. The Veteran Center in Harlem? What's wrong? Men from Rikers are demanding food and supplies. The staff are barricaded inside, but they need help. Miles and I are headed there to evacuate the staff. Don't do anything until I get there, May. I'll meet you in Harlem. May sounds exhausted. I really hope she isn't sick. I need to help Yuri, then get to Harlem. Yuri, I'm nearing the Upper East Precinct. Good. Electro and the demons are boxing my men in. The setup is... complicated. You'll understand when you get there. Yuri Watanabe, master of suspense. This isn't good. Transformers are charging the building, trapping the police inside. Yuri, complicated was an understatement. I'm gonna have to disable these Transformers to free your men. Even if you manage that, they'll still need your help with the demons. That's why I'm here, ready to serve all your electricity and demon-related needs. Four more of these. I did not miss dealing with Electro's elaborate supervillain antics while he was in the raft. Trapping the police with a network of energy transformers? Who does that? are free, but demons aren't backing down. Need to lend a hand. Yuri, your men are safe. What's next? Get to the Upper West Side. We're trying to shelter civilians, but Rhino isn't making it easy. He never does. On my way. Hurry! Rhino's on the move, but 
former guests of Rikers are laying into your police barricades. I'm gonna even the odds. Good. If those barricades fall, the people inside are done for. Me? I'm both flattered and horrified. Sable's airborne commandos. Now to mop up the rest of the Rikers escapees. Ugh. Yuri, precinct is secure. And I just found out what it means to be Sable's priority target. Not fun. That'll teach you to piss off international mercenaries. Guess so. Okay, I need to sign off for a bit. Call me if things go south. Will do. And thanks. You've given us a fighting chance. Okay. Need to hustle to Feast's sister site in Harlem and help May. Peter! Thank God! We need you at the Veterans Center. Where are you? I got held up. Are you okay? What's happening? The convict started a fire. We got the building staff out, but May and Miles are trapped inside. I'm trying to find a way into them, but the fire's spreading so fast. Stay where you are, MJ. I'll handle this. Damn it. Move it, Pete. Move! Stay back! I don't want to have to rescue you too. Peter, don't be crazy! Wait for help! May! May!
me, okay? Everyone is safe. MJ, if it weren't for you and Miles, I would have been... As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. <laughs> That's smart. <coughs> hey. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Sometimes I want to do the saving. I'm sorry I made you feel like you couldn't. Still partners? Always. Huh? Hey, uh, so I didn't know if, uh, you wanted sparkling or, or flat or spring or mountain spring. So I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No, um, MJ, Ms. Watson and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Ms. Watson, we need an anti-serum for Devil's Breath. Oscorp's developing something, but there's no way they can keep it safe from Octavius and Lee. We need to find the cure and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears at feast. Anything goes wrong, call me. We need to keep that place and the people there safe. All right, you got it. What are you gonna do? Gang of costume nut jobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. All right. All right. Hey, wait, um, how do I call you? I mean, do you, do you have like a cell phone in your, in your po pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. Good luck, team. You have his number. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? That'd be so cool. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water smorgasbord. Spider-Man, here to lend a hand? Thought you might need one, officer. You don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released devil's breath. Might have left some residue I can track. Hmm. Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. Oscorp's modified CPF-1. Definitely Devil's Breath. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. The trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. Vapor trail heads up that building. The trail jumps between these buildings. Trail leads down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? Should be a door or an access hatch around here. Well, this is moody. Must be some way to hit the lights. Let there be light. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? Otto's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it. But his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. UV bulb. 
Huh, nothing happened. There must be a way to get that lamp on. Huh. There we go. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. Rhino's targeting Oscorp's shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath anti-serum, using something called Icarus? Icarus, this is it. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? Huh? Need a lizard? So refreshing to work for a man like Octavius. Backup plans for his backup plans. Hey, Pete. Are you okay? What's happening? Traffic's rough. Listen, Lee's gunning for the anti-serum. We need to find Oscorp's Devil's Breath lab before he does. On it right now. Pull up every building permit in the city. If there's a record of the lab, I'll find it. That's great. Okay. Uh, uh, talk soon, MJ. Softened him up. Time for plan B. Hold up a sec! 
hate to be the pessimist, but I don't think you guys are assessing this situation accurately. Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. when they team up. Just need to catch my breath. What time? Oh, man. Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. Now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a Scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the? Is that a sea of poison? Can't be. This can't be real. Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground and analyze whatever he injected me with. Okay, should be safe for a minute. Need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Inside the greenhouse. There it is. Is that really? It's you. Huh? 
Where'd it go? Is this real or in my mind? It can be both. Duck? It's just the hallucinations intensifying. You can get through this. Doc, you sound... Like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when it's no hope. I can't tell you how many times your unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really will. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. Makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really bad. There's the Eclipto Alba. I need to buy me time. But I need an antitoxin to mix a permanent antidote. One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atropine. Gotta get there fast. Giant deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, brain. How are you feeling, Spider? Raw pain is crawling up your spine. Scorpion? How'd you get this number? Always asking me these interesting questions. It's not how am I calling you. It am I calling you. Maybe I'm just the feeble screams of your dying brain. Real or no? When I cure this poison, I'm coming for you, Mac! <laughs> oh, little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephant. There's the research station. We need that atropine. I have to get into the station. Atropine from... <laughs> Atropine's gone. Well, not again. You're too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, oh, but it is me. The me polite society found in. The parts of myself I suppress. You help me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you! You're a failure at life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain! No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me. I can help you! So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No. I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am! There it is! The atropine! Ah! Got the atropine. Now I just need to mix up the antidote. Looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Still with us? I'm here to cure it. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, Webb, don't worry. Plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be seeing each other again real soon. Count on it.
somehow. But I'm running out of time. I need to mix the antidote. Finally. I think not. You're in my domain now. You're just like us, Trying to steal my genius. Everything that happens now is your fault! I knew you were laughing at me! All of you! Behind my back! Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you even real? Hold still, I'll show you. There's an opening. Another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Now I know you're the poison trying to distract me. Bring it on! He stops me, I can one down! You're a loser! All you'll ever be is a loser! Can't let him get to me. Got it! Nice! Just a few more left! Get rid of him and focus on the job. Another one down. One more! Some hero. Everyone you ever met suffers. It's like fighting internet trolls. Knock one down, another pops up. Uh. That's the last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the equipment I need. Finally! I'm running out. I think I did it. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter. It is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Beth. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Why? Why? So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. Anyway. You hear the sound his head makes? Hey. I heard that. Better hurry. I should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Guys, through here. I ain't dying. An animal. But no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. Both of them are. But they're on our side. You two, get over here. All right, all right, all right. I don't have that information. More supplies over there. I don't have that information. Need to get past these guys. I'm so set on 
taken out these relief centers. Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. Another supply tent. Couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta avoid that sniper. Exploding bulldozer. Supply routes and schedules. Now! Gastas out! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Not need to see that. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids right. got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Pick on someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Hulk. Just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? Thought you were a loner. <laughs> so what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! <laughs> no more you! No more Rhino!
Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Rhino's getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Guardian has no business. He fights for profit. Untrue. I'd rip Spider-Man's face off. Free. <laughs> Just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Rhino stunned. For fists of fury. Uh. My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. class in the raft? Like a therapy thing? Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! <laughs> a little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil threat cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Hello. 
I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Burning a sweep. Gotta turn him around. Might have something, Control. Stand by. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No false sound. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um... the big trip. Um... Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh... Anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. 
I gotta check his room. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Continuing sweep. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders? Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborn, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. 
FDR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Kind of makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Clear that balcony.
you are crazy. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. care of these demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. <laughs> stationed here. They're not handling anything. You have been warned, superhero. Oh, no, sure. Shh. Sable made good on her threat, but these guys aren't looking to team up. I'm tired of you harassing our agents, Spider-Man. This ends tonight. You guys think I took out your men? You gotta be kidding me. I wish Sable would cut me some slack. We should be on the same team. Demons and Sable are down. Time to follow Lee inside. Why are you so heavy? You harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen, I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now, and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other, or we could fight Lee, but not both. I mean we're good? You will help me secure Norman. After that, I make no promises. Works for me. Lee's out of control. You secure Osborne. I will talk to them. Who's that friend? Okay, Lee. No more running. This ends tonight. This is insanity. I have to find a way to reach the Martin Lee I know. The man who built Feast. No way to go but down. Uh. 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 
back, Spider-Man. This is for me and Osborn. I know about the accident. I know what happened to your parents. The accident? You sound as clinical as Osborn. My parents died because of me! Because of what Osborne did to me! You're more than your past! Don't let it control you! I tried so hard to make my parents proud! To honor their legacy! But to truly honor them, Osborne must see justice! I won't let you do this, Martin! Lee's pain, his anger, it's fueling his power. sample. You, Martin! Don't let revenge win. Fight it! will 
about that. This is the wrong way, Mark. Look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? worry about him right now he needs a hospital no no hospital feast i need to speak to your head doctor there's no doctors here well, who's running this place me mostly it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, right. whatever you have to sterile. Thank you. You can thank me by not dying. Oh my god.
He'll live. But he needs rest. They say she could go at any moment. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti serum. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger. That's not it. Maybe it's this one. No. <sighs> you did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. to beg? Not gonna happen! <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. Go! Oh! Tell them what you did! I... never... Oh! Everything you have is built on lies! Lies! Ah! You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. Give me 
the anti serum. Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. But I have it your way. We don't have much time! Please! I'll turn over the anti serum when Osborne pays for his crime!
I won't let you win. This means too much to me! Not more than it means to me! If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me. Just like all the others. Turn. Turn. I've worshipped you. Your mind. Your conscience. Wanting to help others. The way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty. A responsibility to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms. I'll be trapped in this useless body! P 
Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. gonna be okay ma'am I've got the cure right here take off your mask I want to see my nephew you knew I've known for a while I never wanted you to worry I did and I am so proud of you and Ben would be too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do.
So? Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean... You do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean... No, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither.
expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. Uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete? Yeah. I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you. I show no, you. No, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. This is Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two-time. Two-time. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, blood the book. And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is... I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Godfather. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now as a broadcaster, I speak it. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface like a hungry shark just beneath the waterline. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. Our next caller reports a problem I saw coming a mile away. Go ahead, ma'am. Well, I was coming out of the bathtub last night when I glanced out my window, and, and what do I see? Spider-Man, swinging by like he owns the place. I was naked! Madam, you have my sympathies. Just imagine what sort of deviant personality would dress up like that in the first place. And it's a short step from there to peeping Tom activity. Folks, it doesn't matter if you live on the first floor or the 31st. Keep your curtains drawn. Lock your windows. A webbed pervert walks among us! Here's another call of a type I've been getting a lot lately. Speak! Mr. Jameson, I want to apologize. I used to think you were an alarmist, but look what's happened to the city. I'm afraid to walk the streets. As well you should be. And I accept your apology. It's understandable you were bamboozled by the mainstream voices telling you everything was dandy, nothing to worry about. Go out and consume. Don't ask questions. I was a lone voice in the wilderness then, but now more and more people like you are realizing who spoke the truth. And that, my friend is how we will take our city back. Now, friends, you know I'm always open to differing points of view. So after a police officer called me out on social media for being too hard on Spider-Man, 
and it went viral and people just wouldn't shut up about it, I agreed to a debate. Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys went to shoot out with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived to die. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped us. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does anything good. I'm saying he causes more problems than he solves. You had to go to the academy, right? Be thoroughly trained? You have rules to follow? Sure, but he seems to know what he's doing, too. It worked out for the best this time. Next time, how do we know Spider-Man won't cause the deaths of all concern? Well, he, he never has before, has he? I believe we'll just have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your service. Goodbye. Some people have accused me of being negative, only criticizing, not offering solutions when it comes to Spider-Man. Here's my solution, and it's very simple. Unmask. Join the police academy. Wear a badge. Then you can catch all the crooks you want, and I'll sing your praises on this very show. And all that hogwash about how that would place his loved ones in danger? Come on. You can't convince me that guy has any loved ones. Once again, a low-information member of Spider-Man's cult, sorry, fan club, wants to make him a saint. Sounds insane, but I always hear people out before passing judgment. Go ahead, caller. Yes, well, Spider-Man has been all over the city, stopping crimes, large and small, helping people, doing good. Wrong, wrong, wrong! I thought you were gonna hear me out. I've heard enough. Rational arguments are clearly lost on you, madam, but there may be hope for others out there, so let me go over it again. It is not helping when a vigilante leaps into the middle of a crime scene or emergency situation with no training, expertise, or public identity. What if he injures someone? Who holds him accountable? The answer, my friends, is me. Folks, I'm hearing a lot of praise for Spider-Man lately, and I'm not saying it's entirely unwarranted. He did listen to me after all, and did the right thing in the end. But dial it back, will ya? I can tell it's going to his head. Look at it. The wisecracking, the grandstanding, swinging around the city like he owns it. This is not his city. It's mine. I mean ours. And now for listener email. May from Queens writes, You're so full of anger, and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. Now I know she speaks from a place of concern, but this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city, and I want it to be better. What you hear in my voice Nothing but love! You know, looking at the dark days just behind us, most of the people involved have faced consequences. Otto Octavius is in prison. Mayor Osborne resigned in disgrace. Escapees from Rikers continue to be rounded up. The remaining demons and Wilson Fisk's men are fighting over scraps. But funny how Spider-Man has faced no repercussions. Well, sure, you might say he saved us. But should saving all our lives really give him a mulligan on his long history of reckless behavior? Tune in after this message for my answer. Spoiler, no! So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. 
I will. I love you, son. <laughs>